Hey, hi friend. My name is Chandramani, and this is the Active Directory migration series. I think in the last video we have uh, completed like uh, uh, the installation of password expert setup, right? And we have uh, a local group also we have created, and uh, we have also created registry value and group policy in both domain we have created, correct? and make member of source domain and target domain that also be done like uh, uh, admin group right but uh, in the last video while we migrating the user at that time we are getting the error so let's see we will yeah this this error we have received so it is unable to establish a session with password expert server access is denied see i am using an admin account that means this account doesn't have access to source domain that's the reason so what i will do here I will go to the ADM account. Let's see whether the access is there or not. I don't think it is there. So what I will do here, uh, I will go to the source domain and administrator here for it. Okay. Now just try whether you don't have permissions to modify the group source domain. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. So, okay, what I will do here, I need to log in with the administrative account, then I can modify here, right? Otherwise, what I will do here, go to the source domain here, uh, open here, built in administrator. I can put it here also. I hope. Let's try. If it is work, then it's fine. ADMT yeah uh, apply okay yeah it has done let's try from here whether now it should be uh, access okay now just try yeah I think it has started yeah it's this is taking much time means it had it, it will start I think let's hope for good yeah it has started let's see let's close it cancel it yeah uh, it has started and asking uh, to select how you would like to handle migrate accounts like the desired options so target same as a source yes i want to be whatever the things objects i am migrating to source domain that should be same as source to migrate when it migrate to or uh, target okay that's a very good option and migrate user si target domain also you can select here and asking the username and password for source domain okay so uh, translate roaming migrate associated group see uh, there is option right i am i am migrating this user right test user right if you look at here it is the member of uh, global group let's see there is option here it is asking migrate associated user group what if the groups are associated with this user which you are, which we are going to migrate from source to domain so you want to migrate that group also so that's what the this option so i check here and uh, let's migrate okay and these options i don't want to check and do not migrate source object if conflict yes if if it is conflict then do not mark migrate because there is something a problem right if you migrate then it will create the program problem in production environment so i don't want to be in test environment also if it is everything is okay from source side then it migrate to domain side that is what i want also click the next click the finish so now it will start the migration if you look at here it is started in progress uh see the the what the is doing it is showing here it is migrating account and uh, examine one copied one 
it is error if you will get error then definitely it will come if not then it's fine still it is in, on, in progress but you can view the logs here also uh, yeah it is in progress yeah it's now it's completed just view the logs if you look at here uh, you will get proper I uh, operation completed okay okay it's migrated to target domain this group also migrated see th this group was uh, associated with the uh, uh, you know uh, other objects that's what it is migrated okay and also it is telling this group is um, uh, you know uh, associated with this user also and this user has not migrated to the target domain because we are migrated test only right if you look at here this user only migrated okay from the uh, to the target okay and uh, it password also copied so everything it is sure uh, you know the in the log we can analyze uh, which has been migrated or, or not and what you know things we have performed that we can you know analyze here okay the LDAP path also it is provided from bridge domain to which it is migrated okay and uh, everything is there so we can do that like this way so it is great news like uh, we have succeed without you know with zero error so it's great things so let's go go to the target domain here and we will check whether it is market, uh, migrated or not see it has migrated even uh, global group also migrated and if you go to the test go to the member see the whatever the groups are there it was there correct so if you look at here see it is just copy it is migrated means not that the everything is deleted from source if you go to here it is there see it is just copy okay so it is there everything is there so what i will do just go to the catalog here what we done here uh, like we have migrated right we have migrated sorry migrated one test account one test account to I don't know what happened my keyboard test account to target Sorry, we migrate one test account, right? Migrate one test account, that's fine. Okay, and uh, this is what we have did. Okay, so thanks for watching uh, this video, and uh, uh, we will, I will see you in the next video with uh, you know other steps here. So uh, as of now, we have did in a correct way, and uh, what are the steps I am uh, you know telling to please follow the steps to you know a successful you know your lab environment or you might be you know performing in the production environment also uh, before you know going to production environment please uh, do practice so it will help you on your you know production environment so thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe my channel and provide the like if you have any queries on this topic uh, you can uh, write in comment okay you can write in comment box so i will definitely give the answer so thanks thank you very much